Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Let's study about the percentage of composition in a compounds. So, if I see the definition first, that the percentage of mass of a certain element, why it's called a certain element? Because we will be searching the percentage composition of a certain element among the other elements in the compounds. So the definition goes like the percentage of mass of a certain element in, an, in the total mass of the compound is called the composition of that element. Uh, I hope that if these questions come in a steam in your creative questions, like what is percentage of elements, then you will write it. Otherwise, you may have some variations or uh, you make a light definitions. But for me, this is simply said that the percentage of mass of a certain element. Now think simply. First, that whatever the percentage composition of carbon dioxide. Very simply, I'm coming up with the, uh, such idea that in this carbon dioxide, we can see that this is a compound and it has two elements like carbon and oxygen. And now, what is the percentage composition of carbon dioxide? If this is the question, then we need to find out first the relative molecular mass of the compound. Like what? In this case, we can see that carbon is 12. The atomic mass of carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16 times 2. So altogether, it's 12 plus 32, which is 44. So we know it earlier that the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44. Now what we need to do? We need to find the percentage of carbon and oxygen differently. That, so the percentage of carbon is, is how much carbon was present in the total molecular mass. We see this is 12 out of 44. So now we can see that this should be 12 over 44 times 100% as it is percentage composition. So we need to write down here is 100% and the percentage of oxygen it should be like how much? Oxygen 2. So it would be 30 to upon 44 times 100% and I hope if you do it you will get the value and uh, from my side I can say that this is uh, 1200 by uh, 44 is actually 27.27% carbon is present in carbon dioxide and in this case 3200 divided by 44 is 72.72% actually it would be 73% why because the summations of this percentage of the elements inside the compounds would be always 100% if you add this you will have 100% simply but if you go further more that let's find about the percentage composition of sugar so it is C12 H22O11 suppose it's a comparatively bigger molecule so these compounds we clearly see that there are three elements so we need to find out the percentage composition of three molecules the three uh, elements that is percentage of carbon before going to do that we need to find out the molecular mass of these so it's we know that carbon is 12 so we can see it in, uh, in this way so I think we can do it here so percentage of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in sugar molecule then it would be like carbon is 12 times 12 hydrogen is 1 times 22 and oxygen is 16 times 11 so it looks bigger so what does it mean that 144 plus 22 plus it should be what I think 176 is it so let's see 16 into 11 yeah 176 so what is the summation so if I add 176 plus 22 plus 144 which is 342 okay so we got the total molecular mass of sugar so we see that there are three elements 
present in the compounds so the percentage of carbon should be should be the percentage of carbon is here 144 upon 342 times 100 percent similarly the percentage of hydrogen is 22 upon 342 times 100 percent similarly the percentage of oxygen should be 176 upon 342 times 100 percent and we'll get the percentage and of course if you do the summations of these percentage you will get again 100 percent so this is very simple to find out the percentage composition right now but if we go a much more a bigger a uh, comparatively bigger suppose if a lattice water lattice water is added with some sort of like gluber salt suppose in case of gluber salt or you can find in uh, uh, like blue vitriol even so gluber salt is sodium sulfate and if you say that lattice water is stain water so then how to think about it and then how to find out the percent decomposition of here so let's see so in case of sodium sulfate dot 10 h2o it means that 10 molecule of water as a attached as a lattice water here so we think 23 times 2 plus sulfur is 32 plus oxygen 16 times 4 now some people think that should we multiply with 10 no it should be plus plus and then 10 is the common points and then h2 hydrogen 1 times 2 plus oxygen is 16 i hope you understand i'm just i'm just adding the atomic mass of all elements based on the number of the atoms so this 23 times 2 is 46 plus 32 plus 64 plus this would be 18 together times 10 is 180 hopefully there is no mistake so if i say that okay 46 plus 32 plus 64 plus 180 is 322 okay less than the previous one and now what is the percentage compositions of the elements in these compounds so now we can see that there are four elements sodium sulfur oxygen and hydrogen there is oxygen also okay but if we make things a little bit creepy that what are the percentage composition of each molecules or each elements then what would be the what would be the calculation so i'm just removing it the calculation would be like if you see in this case sodium the percentage of sodium is 322 is altogether but sodium is 46 so 46 times 100 percent and then percentage of sulfur it's simple one that is 32 upon 322 is 100 percent it's about now you think about oxygen now you think about oxygen now if you think that what is the percentage composition of oxygen now you count that how much oxygens are there so this is 4 and this is 10 so 14 oxygen atoms are present so here if we find that 14 times 16 we will have the percentage of oxygen on these compounds upon 322 times 100 percent and even the percentage of hydrogen if it is asked then you see that number of hydrogen is 20 so 10 times 2 is 20 into 1 that is 20 so you got it that there are 20 20 so 20 upon 322 times 100 and you will have the percentage simply so that is why it's important to find out the percentage composition of elements when it's like that as a lattice but if the question is what is the percentage composition of lattice water if the question is what is the percentage composition of lattice water then the answer is that percentage of lattice water 
water is there are 10 molecule of water which is together 180 so 180 upon 322 times 100 percent so this percentage would be the lattice water percentage in these compounds but in these compounds if the question is what is the percentage compositions of different elements then this would be sodium sulfur oxygen and hydrogen i hope you understand another example that i need to give it to you that if the question is that suppose okay I, I hope you understand it well so I'm removing so uh, this is very important as because whenever we will do some mathematical problem problem solving in case of empirical formula and finding the molecular formula this is required there are some questions like um, well a compound M having molecular mass 90 well, by analyzing 15 gram of it, so this is the question, by analyzing 15 gram of it, what is the compounds? It's not said, but this question is, by analyzing 15 gram of it, 0 0.33 gram hydrogen and then 0 .4, 4 gram carbon, 4 uh, gram carbon and and 10.67 um, 10.67 gram oxygen were found okay what is the percentage composition of these elements and nothing is given i mean the molecular formula is also not given and in this case it is not required because we got the total mass and we also get the different different much of each molecules each atoms and each elements then what is the percentage compositions of these so the percentage composition of hydrogen would be 0 0.33 upon this 15 times 100 percent similarly the percentage of carbon would be 4 upon 15 times 100 percent similarly the percentage of oxygen would be 10.67 upon 15 over 100 percent so this would be the calculations of percentage composition in this type of statement or this type of questions i was trying to make this class in a way that so that you can understand the chronology of the sequences of finding percentage composition though some of you may think this is very easy of course i also think this is easy actually the total uh, study life is easy if you understand the topic that you are studying so uh, of course watching this video is not required also if you can understand things do it your own way that is the main thing so when I am trying my level best to make you understand each content separately so that you can memorize you can understand and then you can be a very uh, successful in case of your numbers in your exam paper so i hope you understand the percentage of compositions in a compound and i'm coming up with the next video with empirical formula and the molecular formula thank you so very much stay well